This is the fashionable citizen, Ronald Reagan, often celebrated as a conservative icon, championed a version of federalism that sought to reduce the federal government's footprint. Reagan believed in devolving power to the states, a principle he argued would foster creativity and efficiency. Under his administration, the new federalism was a key policy which aimed to return responsibilities to the states, thereby supposedly allowing them to solve their unique challenges without excessive federal oversight. This was evident in his attempts to consolidate numerous federal grants into block grants for the states. Transitioning into the 90s, Bill Clinton took a different stance. While Reagan pushed for a rollback of federal powers, Clinton's approach could be described as pragmatic federalism. He maintained a belief in a strong federal government, but also recognized the importance of state autonomy in certain areas. The Welfare Reform Act of 1996 is a prime example, where Clinton signed a law that shifted significant control over welfare services from the federal government to the states, yet with stringent federal guidelines. This approach aimed to combine the efficiency of local governance with the overarching goals of national policy. Fast forward to the 21st century, Donald Trump infused federalism with the MAGA ideology, which emphasized America first. Under Trump, federalism took a distinctive turn as he often used federal power selectively, reinforcing policies that aligned with his broader nationalistic goals. For instance, in immigration and healthcare, Trump wielded federal authority to push forward his agenda, often bypassing or challenging state preferences that diverged from his own. However, during crises like the COVID-19 pandemic, his administration sometimes deferred to states for decision-making, which critics argue was less about ideological consistency and more about political convenience. Each president's handling of federalism reveals the flexibility and complexity of the concept. Reagan's era highlighted a shift towards state empowerment, albeit within limits defined by national interests. Clinton's tenure blended federal oversight with state execution, striving for a balanced approach. Meanwhile, Trump's MAGA-influenced federalism often appeared contradictory, robust in areas that supported his political goals, yet hands-off when convenient. In conclusion, while MAGA added a layer of nationalistic fervor to federalism during Trump's presidency, the core principles of federalism have continually adapted to the prevailing political, social, and economic landscapes. Each administration's approach to federalism not only reflects their political ideology, but also their response to the challenges and opportunities of their time. As federalism continues to evolve, it remains a central, dynamic force in shaping the governance of the United States.